Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I got something I want to show you real quick, and then we're going to come back to this page right here. But we have to go all the way back, and there's a long way to go back because we go a long, long, long way back. Brown zone. Okay. What I want to show you is I put up this video. This video is about 48 minutes long, but it says it's going to take an hour and 18 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a rinky dink system, but it says we don't operate that way. This video will be up before that one. That's a shame because Google, that's what they do. I don't care. I don't mind. I'm just telling you so that you will be aware because knowing is half the battle. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to the reason why we're here. There was a young lady who shall be nameless at this moment, but I thanked her. She sent me something that she thought would be interesting. It was regarding the Trading with the Enemy Act and a case that was heard in 1960. Not 1914, 1960. And this case that was heard in 1960 was dealing with the records of, well, not the records of, but the alien property custodian. The records of the alien property custodian? See, the records of the office of the alien property custodian and its successors related to arising from. Wait a minute, who's the, now pay attention so that you guys will know. Book 1917 to 1957, okay? Who's the alien property custodian at this time? Well, the last I checked, last I heard, last I knew, pay attention, the Attorney General for the United States, that the office was merged. The Attorney General for the United States, that the office was merged. Ladies and gentlemen, the Attorney General for the United States, let me show you something. Let me show you something! I'll show you the case that the young lady sent to me. Give me a moment. Come on, come on, come on, give me back my Windows. My Microsoft Office Word. There we go. No person shall be held liable in any court. No person shall be held liable in any court. Whether it's a legislative court, an administrative court, judicial court, uh, your mama's court, your daddy's court, or a basketball court. No person shall be held liable in any court for or in respect to anything or omitted in the pursuance of any order, rule, regulation made by the president under the authority of this act. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all needs to be operating under presidential proclamation 2039 because it is an order, rule, or regulation made by the president granting authority who, which he said he was relying on this act. Go back and read it. I know some of y'all picking up on what I'm saying, but the president said by the authority vested in him because of this act. Congress recognized it was because of the Trading with the Enemy Act. You are going to rely on the New Deal Presidential Proclamation 2039 and the Congressional Act, which was pursuant to this act under the presidential authority, which Congress says that they were authorized to maintain. Whew. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the president regulated, ordered banking institutions such as yourself. <laughs> Start saying that's what you're operating under. No payment conveyance, transfer, assignment, or delivery of money or property made to the alien property custodian. Here under shall be, or any, I said no, shall be full acquittance, acquittance, and discharge for all purposes of the obligation of the person making the same to the extent of the same. Ladies and gentlemen, the alien property custodian, another such person as the president may appoint shall have the power to execute, acknowledge, and deliver any such instrument or instruments as may be necessary and proper to the evidence upon the record or otherwise such acquittance and discharge. Ladies and gentlemen, can I show you something? Let me show you something! Y'all just have to wait because it might pull up a whole lot of documents and I might have to find it. Remember that document I put together for you guys? It says the New Deal. As a matter of fact, we're going to go. I, I can pull it up right here. Give me one second. 
I can pull it up right here. One, 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 one moment. Give me one second. I can go home. Take me home. And when I go here, come on now, hurry on up now, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. See, it's gonna take its time. We, we, we gonna let it take its time. We put the document up, and you see this still hasn't pulled up, and it should have, but it's it's working on it. We put the document up um, that's called the New Deal. The New New Deal video tells you where that document is located. It is up on the Merrill Legion, and it is up on the Legal Redress Commission. <laughs> Just kidding. It is up on the SATCOM website under PDFs, under the folder uh, Legal Understanding, under the folder A Promissory Note, under the guy's title as the New Deal, and you'll find it. But notice the presidential proclamation what's written at the top it talks about receiving authority from the president hold on hold on the alien property custodian or such other persons as the president may appoint ain't that interesting go back and read the document it tells you where the authority comes from you'll see where i'm going i told you we're going to use the New Deal to our advantage. We're going to use the New Deal to our advantage. To our advantage. Wait a minute. It says no documents are here. Aw. I was certain that I put documents here. Certainly. <laughs> Give me one second. Because there are a lot of documents I loaded up. So y'all just going to have to wait a minute. There's a lot going on this afternoon. I took myself a nap. And I had to wake myself up because I probably would have slept until tonight. And I couldn't do that. I had to communicate. Because what I need is loving, understanding. I'm sorry. Did you hear what I say? Because understanding is what I need. Y'all just going to have to go back in the day for that stuff. You know what? I cannot find it. I, it should have been one of the first documents here, but it ain't here. So I, it's got to be in downloads, but it is in downloads because I put it in downloads. I put it in downloads. Where is it? Come on, get on out of the way. Wording so I can see. Can't see behind the wording. The wording is in the way. And we will do a video on the IRS and their uh, sending me that piece of junk. Uh, about their frivolous filing. There it is right there. New deal. New deal. That, that's what we're looking for right there. So I'm going to let it pull up. And while it's pulling, pulling, pulling up, I'm going to set this right now so that we don't have that problem again. See, this box should be checked. So it should have been restored and it wasn't. So I don't know. Let's, let's do that. Let's uncheck it. Let's apply. And let's recheck it. Uh-oh, Mama, he done rechecked. And... Okay, now let, let me let me let me let me let me let me help y'all what we're trying to say, and then I'm gonna end this video, because oh the young lady who did this, if she hadn't sent me what she sent me, I I listened to the case, I heard what the judge was saying in 1960, and I heard what he was saying how things worked out. Wait, what's up with you? Oh, sorry, they're asleep, and so I heard one of them, so I turned around to see what's going on, and ain't, ain't nothing going on but the rent. See, he's over there just talking to himself. They are all asleep. It is a comfortable, balmy 96 degrees, 94 degrees. And they, they're cool. Fans on and everything. I'm cool. I am not hot. I am not. I'm <laughs> pants, t-shirt, and just sitting up here every single day because I can handle the heat. What I cannot handle. I, I cannot handle, like they said in the Teddy Pendergrass song, okay, what I cannot handle, ladies and gentlemen, is the drastic temperature changes, being 60-some degrees in the morning and 110 degrees in the evening. It just can't happen like that. That's too much of a temperature change. Anyway, this, ladies and gentlemen, 
this is a part of that document. It says, United States Presidential Certificate of Authority as authorized by Presidential Proclamation 2039. Now, why did I do that? Not because of this right here, full acquittance and all of that. Because what I want to let you know is that full acquittance sentence is not to be had in the Trading with the Enemy Act. It is only in the code. I looked. If you can find it, send it to me. I'd appreciate it. The statutes at large of the United States of America from the 65th Congress, Session 1, Chapter 6, 1917, page 418, 50 U.S.C., U.S. Code, 4305, suspensions of provisions relating to property transfer. Ladies and gentlemen, we put that section here for you. Okay? This has already been done weeks ago, put up for you guys. And then what do we do? Individuals should not be held liable for damages when acting pursuant to a statute later declared invalid. Well, the statute is invalid. Congress didn't have the authority to give the president any authority of the people of the United States. Yeah, they can give them authority over people who are not people of the United States. They did have that authority because they're not United States people. So they can do whatever they want. But over citizens of the United States, whether they are enemies or not, the Constitution doesn't give Congress that authority. Renouncing of citizenship requires there to be due process. No due process hearing is had. They can't just do whatever they want. Okay, has the right to accept the law as written until it is repealed. Okay, they are not required to speculate as to the validity of a statute or to act under it to their own peril. So y'all can go by that code. Somebody else has to come in and rebut the code. Y'all don't have to rebut it. This is the declaration and proclamation of the president. Okay, because he tells you, uh, pay attention, I want y'all to see what the president has to say. Because he says this, I don't. I wish I could say it. I'd say it, I, I, I wish I could say it, but I can't. Okay, where you at, President? Where you at? Uh, I'm looking, I, I may not have included that part of the paragraph because this ain't the whole entire act. Dang it, I done messed up. I'm looking for something that ain't even here. That's a shame. Well, it's the part of the act, the very first part of the act, where the President declares, orders, says he orders declares and he said a couple other things okay and I'm looking nope I cannot see the order and declare so I may not have that section here but he proclaims he orders declares and it's a mandate and when he does that I want you to understand he gave an order he declared he proclaimed this information so let me do y'all selves a favor oh there it is right there hereby proclaim order direct and declare proclaim order direct and declare now i want y'all look we ain't, this ain't about no war i declare war uh-uh proclaim order direct and declare that's what we focusing on that's the that's the part we focusing on he done ordered it pay attention any order, rule, or regulation made by the president under the authority of this act. What did he proclaim, order, and declare? Let's find out, y'all. That from Monday, blah, 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 both dates inclusive, there shall be maintained an observance of a banking by all banking institutions and all branches thereof located in the United States, including territories, insular possessions, a bank holiday. And that during such period of all banking transactions are suspended during such banking holiday exception here and after provided no such banking institution or branch shall pay out export a mark or permit the withdrawal or transfer in any manner by any device whatsoever of any gold or silver gold bullion bad coin or currency or take any other action that might facilitate the hoarding thereof nor shall there be any such banking institution or branch paying out of deposits, making loans or discounts, dealing in foreign exchange, transfer of credit to the United States, and any place abroad, transact any other banking business whatsoever. He said any banking institution within the United States. Hold on, this is supposed to be trading with the enemy act. It only applies to the enemy. 
we ain't gonna talk about that right now. During such holiday, the Secretary of the Treasury, with the approval of the President, and under such regulations as he may prescribe, is authorized and empowered to permit any and all. Well, Secretary of the Treasury, with the approval of the President, this was it right here. This was the approval of the President. See, Presidential, Presidential Proclamation 2039 amended as of, I believe it was the 1950 Amendment by Truman specifically said that you did not have to be licensed okay so it says to permit any and all such banking institution to perform any and all of the usual banking functions to direct require or permit the issuance of clearinghouse certificates or other evidences of claim against the assets of banking institution so ladies and gentlemen you are authorized to perform any and all of the usual banking functions you are allowed to be a banking institution i just wish some of you all would pay attention and rely upon this act so that you are protected by the act of congress the presidential proclamation the so-called banking institution act known as the federal reserve act amended march 9 1933 and the congressional record that's what this is for this is trying to tell y'all. So the person who sent me the email, thank you, because you helped me to point this out to people that they can rely on. Not 95 USC, uh, 12 USC 95, not that one. Mm -mm, y'all don't want to rely on that one. You want to rely on 50 USC 4305. Go look it up right now. 50 USC 4305. Go look it up right now. 50 USC 4305. Okay, because that's what this video is talking about. Gotta go. Hey, y'all take care. 17 minutes. Gotta go. Gotta go. Uh, let it snow. Anyway, bye.